Hey, how's it going? It's Devin with Devin's Card House, and we are creeping ever so closer to the release of Shadows of the Galaxy, the next set, set by Fantasy Flight Games for Star Wars Unlimited. The first set, Spark of the Rebellion, was a massive success, got sold out almost immediately, and now boxes have gone from $80 when I was initially buying them to $250 now. The game has just been blown out of the water. Uh, Fantasy Flight had no idea that they were going to have this massive reception. Or did they? Or did they? Conspiracies all around. Did they do this on purpose? Oh, name your game unlimited. Fool everybody. Make them think that they're going to have tons of product out there to satisfy the market. And and then just pull that rug out from out for, or raise the rug, raise the roof, shoot to the moon, I guess, uh, is, was their goal. No, I don't think that was it. I just think they didn't think they'd have this massive amount of success. And it seems like a lot of games are falling into that trap. Uh, Star Wars Unlimited it is now amongst the same <laughs> uh, brethren as Lorcana and Sorcery. And now Star Wars Unlimited, where people can't get the initial release of the product because it's too popular and then uh, the re reprint has not yet come. Now, Fantasy Flight Games has said that the reprint for Spark of the Rebellion is coming around Christmas time, so you can be prepared to get your hands on some of the product then. But up until we get there, we're gonna have this new set, Shadows of the Galaxy, come out, and I believe the release date is July 12th. So we're a little less than a month away or a little more than a month away in order to, for you to be able to get your hands on some new cards and try some new things out. This set is looking really cool. The theme here is outside the law. So it's uh, outlaws and criminals and uh, criminal syndicates and you know smugglers and things like that. There's also uh, lots of Mandalorians. So you're gonna see the Mandalorian himself and Bo-Katan and probably are we gonna see more Boba Fett? Does he count? He's not really Mandalorian, but he's a bounty hunter, so maybe we'll see more Boba Fett. But besides that, we're also getting a lot of spoilers recently of The Bad Batch, if you've watched that. I actually got to watch a couple episodes of The Bad Batch with my daughter, because when uh, me and her are chilling out, I like to make her watch Rebels or Star Wars cartoons. So we started to watch The Bad Batch. It was really, really good. So I've only watched a couple episodes, and that was literally a couple days ago, and I had no idea they were going to be in the set. So I'm glad I know who some of them are, and I have to finish that show. I'm really enjoying it. But um, uh, so it's cool to see them in here. So the, along with this, the game is bringing up a couple core mechanics. So uh, there's going to have over 250 cards and some of those cards may have some of these mechanics that you'll see. So the first mechanic is bounties. And you'll see here is like, you can use a card like wanted in order to attach it to a unit. And then you can, once you kill that unit, you're able to ready two friendly sources. So when this unit is defeated or captured, so you can capture, its uh, opponent collects the bounty. And the bounty here is you get to ready two of your resources. So it costs zero, stick it on an enemy, kill the enemy, capture the enemy, and now you receive the bounty, two free resources. It's pretty cool. When it, when it comes to the other mechanic here, capture, you can look at it here for the Mandalorian's rifle. So you can attach it to a non-vehicle unit, and when played, if attached unit is the Mandalorian himself, he captures an exhausted enemy, not uh, an exhausted enemy non-leader unit. So basically, you get to take that card, put it under him, and as long as he stays in play, then you're able to keep that, uh, I was gonna say creature, but what are they units you get to keep that unit <laughs> <laughs> so you could use Wanted and the Mandalorian's Rifle in conjunction in order to get this uh, combo off. So that's pretty cool. The other uh, key mechanic here is Smuggler or Smuggle. And so basically you get to put uh, Smuggle, you get to put one of your cards in your resource pool and then you can use it later. So basically for a higher cost most of the time, you can uh, pay to use your cards and then it also puts the top card of your library into your resource pool so you're not losing that resource. You just have to pay a higher amount in order to get the card out here. Like you can see here for uh, Vigilant Pursuit Craft, you can smuggle it. I think the cost is seven. And so you can put it into your um, 
resource once you have seven resources play it it comes out of your resource pool and now you have a three five uh, flyer so this is just something good to have so you don't have dead cards sitting in your resource you could have uh it's almost like having a bonus card in your hand smuggle also if you could see privateer crew which is we're getting is it pirates space pirates are coming baby yes outside the outside the law i like it so privateer crew when you play this using smuggle give three experience tokens to this unit so it makes it even more powerful and I can't really read it but it looks like the smuggle cost is six so you're getting a five five for the cost of six which probably isn't that good but it, when you consider that this is one of your resources and it's just an extra body that you can pull out I, I don't think it's that bad it seems pretty cool to me so yeah so these are just like some of the basics and then right now you can check out some of the leader units we have a Moff Gideon and Hunter and then we have Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian and then we have some of the new uh, rare cards. We have a uh, first light, ruthlessness, and uh, this is cool. This is uh, Casca Reeves. Casca Reeves is actually Sasha Banks, if you know her from uh, WWE. I believe that's that who's that character, and it's cool because she got a rare card. So, and I'm, uh, Sasha Banks is cool. She's gone to AEW. She's like Monet something uh, something Monet. I don't. I, I haven't checked her out over there. I, she needs to get back onto WWE, from my my opinion. But anyways, uh, there's a Hot Shot Blaster. Dr. Evanson and Omega. So these are pretty cool. You know, I was watching a, a spoiler, uh, not a spoiler, but a spoiler channel earlier today that kind of goes more into depth. I would check it out. I'll link it here in the comments below. I can't remember the name of it. I should have put it here in my notes, but um, I'm not really the spoiler guy. So if you want to go more in, in depth, I would check out the name and I'll put it on the screen of this guy below, but he's pretty cool. Also, you should check out the Bad Batch. These Bad Batch cards are up. And then Mandalorian and Grogu. Mandalorian is the first First legendary that we've seen he's a five six sentinel for six and when you play you may heal all damage from a unit that costs two or less and give two shield tokens to it so you know it, it's thematic there with little grogu that you can heal him because he's got a pretty he's pretty strong with a five zero five you can heal him and put shields on him or any other unit that costs two or less so he's that's our first legendary that we've seen so far at least that I've been able, maybe one of the other spoilers that I haven't seen, but that's the first one I, I could find. So that's it that I've seen so far. It's getting me super hyped, super excited for July 12th to be able to pick up some more of these boxes. I'm gonna be trying to get the play group, if you're watching this, if you're one of the play group, if you're one of those sorcery sticklers who has to play sorcery and nothing else, I'm gonna be fighting my way. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tie you up. I'm gonna drag you. You're fighting, kicking, scratching to play some Star Wars Unlimited come July 12th. And we're gonna make a video and the play group's coming back. I know people asked about that. So we're gonna see if we can get Dan and Billy and Dave from Dave's Card Warehouse and Lee. Maybe we can get Lee on there. It'd be great to get lee uh i don't i don't know where lee's from lee from kicking assville i don't know where lee's from but lee might be there too so it'll be cool that'll be something to look forward to in the future i'm looking forward to it so i anyways that's it for me i want to say thank you to my patrons the new patron video came out today early in the morning so far long ago that i almost feel like it was yesterday so i hope you guys enjoy that i want to say thank you to my uh, subscribers for getting me me closer to a thousand subs i really appreciate that i also want to say thank you for just watching the videos at all you don't have to subscribe you don't have to be a patron if you just watch it i appreciate that as well so thank you so much anyways that's it from me i hope you all have a great weekend i will see you probably on monday and uh because i you know i've decided that uh you know i i feel like the videos I'm not able to do it on the weekend. I just, uh, you know, I it's just not able. I, I, I have too much going on on the weekends and it never gets done. And I think uh, five days a week, weekday, weekday videos. I need to fix my banner. I think that'll work more so I'm not kicking myself and I can put more effort to the weekday videos if I do that. So look forward to more weekday videos. Um, and if I can get one on the weekend, really I will. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta get going. Anyways, you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Governor Jesse Ventura to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? 
You want to turn into a little fat porker? <laughs> <laughs>